Hello friends, welcome to Foxy Tech. So today we are going to see another important topic or interesting topic on Kubernetes. So we are going to see how we can expose the Kubernetes pods using a services. Okay. So let's have some scenarios and uh, let's see that how we can do that. So in this video, we're going to see a couple of things. So we have a Kubernetes cluster and it has a two application. Let's assume one is called FoxDB and another one is FoxApp, right? It has a couple of pods running already and this is a deployments and you want to expose this uh, services. One should be internal and another should be accessible from external clients. Okay. So, so we should expose this FoxDB and that should be internal and which will be used only by the internal users. So it should not be exposed to the outside world. Right. And at the same time, the Fox app. So it, it, it should be external app service and also it should be exposed to the public on the external network so so let's see that how we can do that so to try that so we're going to log into our server and we'll quickly demonstrate how we can achieve that all right so i have already created a couple of deployments so let's check existing deployments so to check the deployment we can run qct get deploy and you can see this and also let's see that existing parts how many parts it's running okay so i'm running and you can see box app has two and box tv has two parts all right so our case is let's take a first scenario so which is nothing but box tv it's running as a two part and that should be accessible by the internal service right so to do that so we should collect a couple of information. So until then, we can't expose it, right? So let's see that what are the information we need. kubectl get deployment. You can put a deployment or deploy, it's a short term I'm using here, but you, if you wish, you can use it full form. Okay. So I'm gonna see the output in the YAML so I can see in the described view. So I can read it from the output so let's see that and here i need i'm interested in two parts one is what is a label so because i can just expose the services in the labels so in my case i can see the temp under template i can see the labels and my label is fox tp here i have defined so, and first thing we should collect that label and the second thing we should collect that port which port it's exposed using, right? So as service has to be accessible from the ports, if you see in our previous videos, we have explained it. Otherwise I will be adding it in the description, all right? So the container port is 80 here. So now we know that FoxDB is a label and container port is 80, okay? So to save the time, so what we did, so we have already created the service pay, uh, service file, so which is TV service, and that will be so simple. So which version of API we are using and kind of service and meta name, metadata. So we have given the name of the service. It's a Fox TV S service, SVG is service. And you can see there is a type is cluster IP. Why it's cluster IP? As per our requirement, so it should be internal service. As it should be internal, so we should use a cluster IP for the services. And you can see here is a one. So what we did, so the selector is nothing but our label name. So the label is box hyphen DB, right? So then ports, so it's a TCP port, of course we are using HTTP. And we have seen the port, container port is nothing but AT. Right. So we are exposing that and outside also it should be 80. Okay. So let's quickly create this service. So kubectl apply app db service. Okay. So how to check the service? kubectl get services. Okay. So you can see the service and it's been cluster IP and the service has been created. Okay. 
So now the service has been created. So we should check, right? Is it working or not? So how we can check? So in my previous video, we have seen we have used the uh, we have used busy box to check the connection. So same thing we're gonna do it here as it's an internal one, so it's hard to get the logins, but we have a busy box which will help us to get this kind of uh, outputs. So with the busy box, what we're gonna do? So we're gonna call the output. So the curl and the service. So our service is FoxDB service. So we are not going to give any port because we are using 80 and by default, the by default port is 80 always. If you are using a different port, your application is less than a different service port. Please make sure you are giving defining a proper port. And also if you have a different name, so you should use a different name. So you can see this here. So we are well and good. So now the Nginx is working. So why it's Nginx? So we are just naming as a DB here, but at, at backend we are using Nginx only. So let's let's quickly check on that. I'll show you that even. So you can see in the box DB and the image whatever we used. Nginx 1.9.1. As expected, we got a response from the Nginx. So it's internal service and it's internally it's working good. Okay. So second task. So we have to see for the external connection we should enable. So for that, I'm gonna get check the deployment, existing deployment. Let's describe it and see that response. Okay. So, which is nothing but now Fox app we are doing and the normal is output. I'm gonna check with the detailed explanation. So here also we are using a port 80. So this is good. And the template and inside template we have labels and label is nothing but app equal to Fox app. Okay. So that is important here. So we have collected this label name and under the spec we are collected the container port. Let's go and create the another service to expose to the external. So again, for saving a time, we have already created. Let's quickly check on that. It's so simple. So we're going to check it here. So service is a kind and this is the name we given. I'll come to this type. And before that, as a selector, app equal to Fox app and TCP. And you can see the port is 80 and target port also 80. All right, so we are using a load balancer as a type here. Why? Because I'm using a Kubernetes AKS cluster, Azure Kubernetes as it's in a cloud. So the port will be hard to check. So, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to check it as a load balancer. So with that, I'm going to get the load balancer IP. And with that, we're going to access this service. If you are using internal server or non-cloud non services, you can just use a, uh, you can just use node port. And when you are defining a type as a node port, please don't forget to men mention the port, which port you want to expose it here. All right. So this is the example. And let's try to create this kubectl. So let's check what are the services available. So currently there is a only one service available which we created earlier. And I'm gonna create a second one, so which is nothing but app services, okay? So now we're gonna check the services and it's going to take a little time to get the external IP. So we're gonna wait it until then. So let's quickly check, is it displayed? Great. So the port, sorry, the IP has been displayed here. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna try to access this IP address via browser as it's been externally, it should be accessible. So I'm just taking IP address, I'm putting in the web. As there is no non-standard non port, we are using 80 as a default port. So no need to mention any ports. So I'm gonna directly hit this one and you're gonna see this Nginx page as we are already using Nginx. So we all know that we are using a both the case Nginx only. So here, so we are well and good, right? 
So to summarize that, so we were having a cluster and there is an existing deployment and this deployment has to be exposed outside. So what we did, so we have taken this one service and that has been exposed internally and another service in the external way, right? For internal one, so we have used a cluster IP as a service type and for external one, we have used load balancer. If your case is different, so you can even try with a node port. So node port also one of the possible way. Okay. So hope this video is useful guys. If you like, please hit like and please share with your friend. Also please subscribe to our channel. So to get such a quick videos and that may help you to learn and troubleshoot any issues in the Kubernetes. Thanks. Until then, bye-bye.